Okay, welcome to uh, my first attempt at a instructional video on how to make signs using Inkscape. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select the box tool and we're just going to draw a box. And you'll notice it's filled. I do not want to fill, so I will go down here and click the X. None. No fill. Now, what is the size of my sign? Well, it's that's up here. We'll go with 9 inches by two and a half, so that would be 2.5. And if we just want to keep it simple, we're just going to go with square. Um, we can, I'll show some more fancy stuff later if I get a good response on this. You know, so anyway, I got my square. Next thing I want to do is grab some text. So grab the text tool, pop it in there. I'm using Cooper. Uh, text size really doesn't matter right here. It has no effect on the sign. So what you want to do is type in whatever you want on your sign. This one happens to be Nigel, N-I-G-E-L, and that's my dog. And you can uh, click up here on the arrow to get your, and just grab it and size it and basically stick it in there. Um, the other thing you want to do, well, I don't want to do that either because I don't want it. I want it all in uppercase, N-I-G-E-L, G-E, Jeez. L, Nigel, there we go. And the next thing I want to do is put it in the sign, but I want to center it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my snap bounding box, and then I want to click on this one right here. It says snap to and from center, and this will allow me to snap right to the center. And then you can say, okay, here's my outline. It's kind of centered in the sign. It looks pretty good. And I'm just going to add a real quick uh, embellishment to this square sign. I'm going to take a circle. And I'm going to hold the control key and pull at a 45 degree angle. That way it keeps it from going elliptical on me. So it'll keep it a square. And I want this to be one inch. And right now it's at 1.2. So I'm going to lock it because you'll notice that it's both the same in the height and the width. I'm going to lock it down. And I'm just going to make this one inch. And now I'll have a one inch. And what I want to do is I want to put that right here on... Uh, you click on this one. This is the corner. Snap the corner. So what it's doing is snapping the center of the circle to the corner of the box. And I'm going to hit Control C, Control V, and snap it here. And then I'm going to hit Control V. Pull, whoops. Grab that. Pop that one on this corner. And then Control V again. And I'm going to pop this one on this corner. Now that I do that, this is looking kind of big, so I'm going to move it down just a a little bit, and I'm going to recenter it. You'll see the little red X that says, hey, I centered. Now what I want to do is I want to grab one of the circles, hold to my shift key, and, oops, missed it. And I want to grab the box, so that's a sh Okay, grab the circle, hold the shift key, click on the box. Now I've got them both selected. Now I go up to here to path. And I want to do a difference. And you see, now you notice that corner's clipped. I'm just going to keep doing that. Uh, grab the circle, shift, click, path, difference. And you can use shortcut keys too, which I will be using. So uh, shift, click, and that is control minus, I believe. Oops. Not that. Control minus. And grab the circle, select the box, and control minus. Same thing. Now that I have that, I want to not fill this in. So I'm going to select no fill. It didn't have a line style to start with, so I'm going to hold the shift key and select black. Now I have that. Now I want to take this. I want to control C, control V, copy it. And this one I do want to fill with black. <coughs> and then what I want to do is I want to go to path and I want to do outsets. So that's control plus the parenthesis, close parenthesis key. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to hit control, parenthesis, and I'm just going to keep doing that until it fills itself in. And on this one, I'm going to fill it with white. And you'll see why in a second. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to center it. Oops, control Z. I'm going to take this one and center it. And then I'm going to hit the end key on my keyboard, end. And that's what your sign will look like with its uh, black outline, outset letters. So that's just an easy way to make a quick and simple sign. 
and if I was going to do that I would take the black outline and then just do a no fill on it and that's what you would cut. Eh, I got a little bit extra in there but that doesn't matter because you're going to be cutting that anyway. And if you actually wanted to preview this sign, what it would actually look like, you can go to Google. And if you go to Google Images and do a, a search on light wood texture, um, it'll bring up a page kind of like this. And you can scroll down and find something that is close to what wood you're using. And this looks pretty close. I'll just grab it. Um, I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to hit paste. And that gives me a board or whatever. So now what I want to do is I want to size that to the size of the sign. And I want to do control C, control V. I want to put that down there. Now I want to put this up here. It'll center itself. And I want to send it to the back, which is end. Now you'll see it's behind everything. Now I want to grab my sign outline and grab the board. And then I want to do um, object clip set. So that's that. Now with the name, um, I'm just going to do a control C, control V. I'm going to unfill it. So now it has no fill. I'm going to put that on here. And I'm going to do, got the sign select, or the text, select the board, object clip set. See, and it doesn't work. And you say, well, why didn't that work? So I'm going to go Control-Z, Control-Z, because this is text, and it doesn't like to work with text. So what you do is convert that text. You go up to Path, and you go up to Object, Path to Object, or Object to Path, rather. So there. Now it thinks it's just a bunch of lines like any other thing. Select that. Hold the Shift key. you got your board selected. And you hit Object, Clip, Set. And there, now I've got wood letters. I'll take this one. Oops. I will take this Nigel out. And I will put this one in. And I want to bring him home. And you still can't see him. That's because i got to select this box and fill it with black. And that's basically what your sign will look like. This is quick. It's easy. And if you would like to see some more, um... I can do that too and show you actually a little bit slower on how to do this and show you a few more tricks. But uh, So now I should have did this earlier, but we'll go control Z, control Z, undo, 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 undo. And this is what I would actually, I would do a copy, control C, control V, and to get this on your board, um, you can do carbon paper, trace around by hand, or you can uh, flip it. You would do a mirror, which is this. So now that it's mirrored, now if you print this out via the Steve Ramsey method, inkjet onto a sheet of label paper with all the labels removed, or you can print this out to a laser printer and put it on your wood with a uh, wood iron or a a wood burning tool like Jay Bates or you can use the lacquer thinner method like John Heiss. You can go look up their videos on YouTube on how they put uh, print on a board. So that's my little tip. This is my little experiment. If you'd like to see more, leave some comments. Thanks for watching and uh, until next time, drive like a maniac. Later.